Yes, you read the title correctly. I've just managed to bag myself the UK's cheapest Ducati Panigale V4S. However, there is a catch. Now, as you can see behind me, there's a bit of damage on the bike. Bit of damage on the rear, on the side panel there. So the bike is registered as a Cat N write-off. But what does that mean, Cat N write-off? Well, Cat N means non-structural damage. So we're all good on the structure of the bike. The insurance company hasn't declared that it's bad enough to be structurally impaired, so it doesn't need straightening out or anything like that, so it can go back on the road, and it's just cosmetic damage. And yes, cosmetic damage is exactly what this bike has received. Unfortunately, look at the back. Oh, it's horrible to see on this beautiful bike. The wheel's good. Moving down here, as you can see, we've got a bit of damage on the clutch cover here. That's a shame. Damage on the fairing, bit of damage on the tank. That's a real shame because this tank was perfect. They're really expensive from Ducati. We've lost the bar. Fin, well, whatever it is, has come off the front there, but they weren't supposed to be on the bike anyway because it's not a newer one. Um, and then as we move around, we've got a bit of damage on the front. But this side, absolutely beautiful. As much as I don't like fake carbon, those fins, those wings on the bike do look lovely. So, how did I manage to bag myself such a bargain? Well, eBay. I saw the bike advertised, I was looking for a track bike, and I saw this come up, and I thought, well, I'm never gonna spend 16, 17 grand on a road Ducati V4S to turn it into a track bike, because I don't have that money for starters, and second of all, it seems silly. And I thought this would be a, such a perfect bike for the job. I wanted to do some videos on the V4S, do some track days on it, do a bit of road riding, so I thought this could be the one. It was at about £8,000 when I saw it on eBay on bids and then I watched it for a few days. On the last day, last half hour, it went up to about 11. I put my final bid in with three seconds to go and I won the bike for £12,600, which makes it the cheapest bike in the country and a wicked deal for me because now I can just literally buy some track fairings for the bike. I'll sell all the stock parts. It's registered as cat end, so I wouldn't want to put it back on the road because people with your cats on the road want, you know, immaculate bikes. Let's turn it into a race slash track bike and have some fun and make some videos. So, plans for the bike. Well, first things first, we've got to make sure it works. I know it runs, however, I haven't ridden it, so I don't know what the gearbox is like. You know, it's done 9,000 miles, so hopefully it's been looked after. We're going to get on the phone to Ducati, try and find out if it's got any service history, which I'm sure it will do. Um, but we're going to get on the road with the bike, and we're going to ride it, fire it up, take it out, go through the gearbox, give it a proper good ride and make sure it's all running smoothly and then what I'm going to do is take it all apart, which we'll do in another video, uh, bearings off and we'll have a proper look around this like masterpiece of engineering because this engine is an absolute powerhouse and if you look at the bike it literally is just an engine attached to part of a frame here and then a subframe and a couple of wheels so <laughs> this bike is just going to be ridiculously fast on the road. Um, so we're gonna get on with that and we'll do another video on that. We'll do a little test ride on it. Um, so I'll be posting that in the next few days. So make sure you give the uh, video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And we'll enable you to see more content on this beautiful bike that I'll be doing. And I think we're gonna be doing a video with the Ducati 916 because I thought it would be very fitting to ride them both on the road together. They're very far apart. However, we're getting constant updates and feedback and comments on videos with people saying, you know, how these older bikes are nice and comfy on the road, these new ones are a bit too fast and a bit uncomfy. So it'll be great to do a little YouTube video on the two flagship Ducatis with such big time differences. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching this. I'm going to go about fixing this all up now and getting out for a test ride. I've got some of the parts here, I've got the handlebar. This is ridiculously light as well. I don't know what it's made out of. I think it's only Ali, but yeah, it is Ali, but it's so light. They've done a real good job of keeping the weight down this bike. Um, but we'll be going more into that when we take all the fairings off and we end up taking the bike apart a bit. So thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon.